The Department of Fisheries, in collaboration with the St. Lucia National Trust, recently conducted training in total conservation. The training was undertaken as part of a COVID-19 rapid response project entitled Sustenance of Monitoring, Maintenance and Operation of the Point Sab Environmental Protection Area and the Pigeon Island National Landmark Impacted by COVID-19. The training session was conducted at the Trust's Southern Office in the Maria Island Interpretation Center of Inview Fort. Participants included rangers from as well as members of the management team. Yvonne Edwin, fisheries officer within the Department of Fisheries, facilitated the training session. The purpose of the sea turtle monitoring training is to ensure stakeholders like the St. Lucia National Trust, the rangers and their personnel are aware of the importance of turtle conservation, turtle monitoring and why we need to put this in place. The training was geared towards enhancing what they already know and providing information that could help them execute their duties. Having implemented rangers um, to monitor turtles that nest along the Point Sab area and areas within Viewfort, it is important that they understand the biology, the identification, the nesting behavior of turtles so they can better execute their roles. The department's strategy for conservation, it, it does include turtle tagging, it includes ensuring that public awareness and all of those components are put in place. And so strengthening an agency such as the National Trust will give you that opportunity to beef up on what we need to do in St. Lucia as it relates to turtles. Ms. Edwin indicated that the department is working on resuming turtle tagging as one of the strategies for improving the turtle monitoring efforts in St. Lucia as turtle tagging is one of the effective tools used in sea turtle monitoring programs. The project is funded by the European Union and the Organization of African, Caribbean and Pacific States for the Biopama program.